Hello, y'all. Happy day. Today, we're doing the letter Q. Q for quiche. We're going to do some quiche, but also, it's so nice that the political commercials have quit. Q for quit. Yay. And uh, hooray for President Trump. Anyhow, I've got... Um, all this stuff started for the quiche, and then I remembered I needed to turn the camera on real quick. So let me show you what I've done. I've put a pie shell, a pie shell in this pie plate, so it looks totally homemade, even though it's the refrigerated pie shells that I use. I've also taken a ham steak, you know, just like a piece of ham that's about this big, chopped it into little pieces, and because sometimes those are really loaded with um, water, um, I went ahead and chopped it up and I've got it over here in the skillet, just trying to make sure I've cooked all the water out of this. So you can see, it, you know, they're kind of like browned little pieces now. And I've also chopped up an onion and a little red bell pepper in here with this. So I'm gonna dump all of this into my pie shell this over here where you can see it a little better. There we go. Okay. And so I'm just going to put all this right down here in the pie shell. I love quiche, but when you feed a man, it usually has to have a little bit more substantial to it than just the eggs and the cheese. Um, it has to have a little meat, so that's why I'm doing this because I gotta make sure Bob's got him some meat. He likes meat with every meal. So got that evenly spread out. And now I'm going to chop up some uh, cheese into chunks and I'll put it in here next. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've chopped up uh, some Monterey Jack cheese just in some little, little cubes, like about, eh maybe a half inch square. And I'm just gonna sprinkle them around in here so that they're fairly evenly distributed. This will add just a little bit of a spice to the quiche. And then I've put two big handfuls of spinach over in this same skillet. And I'm gonna wilt this down um, for a little bit and then I'll put that spinach in here on top of this as well. Um, now I'm going to add some cheddar. I like to have a mixture of cheeses so I'm just going to sprinkle some cheddar all over it. Just enough to cover. So, as soon as this wilts down, I will get back with you and I'll put it on. Okay, I want you to see how, how that two big hands full is cooked down to just that little bit. And now I'm just uh, cutting them. I'm taking a fork and a knife and I'm just gonna like cut. Just because you don't want to bite into it and have a big old piece of lettuce or spinach there. This way I'll be able to spread it out a little better. Sprinkle it all around in the, on, the, on the plate. So see now it's in small enough pieces I can spread it around like that. So I'll just keep doing that, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna put in next. Okay, I'm back now, and you can see how pretty that looks already in there. So I'm gonna set that aside over here and start mixing up. I've already put a half a cup of cottage cheese, and I just used the low-fat, small curd cottage cheese. And then I put in, um, about three-fourths of a cup of 
half and half. And I've already put one egg in here, and I'm going to put another one. I'm going to wind up putting about four eggs in here. I'm trying to get it to about three cups worth of liquid here. But um, the eggs will make it firm up. I don't know about y'all, but... If you raise chickens, um, we've our chickens have been going through the molting season, so they haven't been producing as many eggs. So we've uh, not had quiche for a while, but I didn't want to use up all my eggs. As you can see this is fairly thick. I'm gonna. I don't think that one egg has broken good. I'm gonna use a whisk now. Make sure it is broken up. Very firm egg that's going to break up. All right. Very firm egg. Good golly. Come on. So um, now I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Sometimes I'll add a little basil because basil is good with eggs. So we add a little salt. Not too much because we've got that ham in there and it's pretty salty. So some pepper. And let me see if I can grab some basil out of my cabinet up here. Hold on. Might block you. Here's some basil. I'm just going to sprinkle some in. Might have been like a fourth of a teaspoon. You could put parsley or whatever flavor you want. Now I'm just going to pour this right over. All the other ingredients. Looks pretty good, y'all. You can see, you can, you can see some of the um, right here. You can see some of that um, cottage cheese, but it'll melt all in there with the other. So I'm about to put it in the oven. It's a 350 degree oven, and I'm going to cook this for about 30 or 40 minutes. I'll be. Hey, y'all. While that quiche is in the oven, I thought I'd show you what's been going on around my house this. Uh, this past few days. Uh, since it's November, uh, I always spend the whole month of November decorating my house for Christmas because we have Christmas get-togethers um, pretty much the whole month of December. I've got the first big uh, celebration here is going to be on like Thursday, December the 5th, I think it is. So I've got to get this all done like before Thanksgiving. So I am really we had 23 boxes of christmas stuff that we brought down out of the attic this past weekend plus a lot of christmas trees because i try to put one in every room or at least where you can see one from every room so um i am going to embarrassingly turn the camera around so you can see what a wreck this place looks like right now so hold on Okay, so we're walking out of the kitchen. I can, you can see I've already started putting the little Christmas tree up this right here on my kitchen counter, but I haven't really decorated anything else in the kitchen yet. So, and then look at my dining room table. Filled with wreath bags and candle holders and just junk. And then over here we've got that tree up but we haven't really poofed it out yet at the top like it needs to be and then there's some of the 23 boxes that are there uh, let me see if i can zoom out so you can see better 
I mean, is this a wreck or what? We took our easy chairs that are normally in here and take those out. They wound up back in my bedroom. So, but I do have, I try to do one room a day or at least one thing a day. Like I put up trees one day and then anyhow. So let me bring you back here. These two boxes right here are two that I've already filled up with other stuff that I took out of this bedroom. But this is my guest bedroom and it is finished right now. So I've got it decorated. And this is a quilt that I made, one of the first quilts I ever made, and I love it. Um, but of course I have to decorate for children. We've got some great grandchildren that'll be coming this year. There's one that'll be almost three, and then another one that'll be like three or four months. And then, and of course, you know, I had to put a little manger scene out. But, uh, and then I've got a, I have a friend who comes every year at, um, well, she comes once a month, really, but she'll be here at, um, and so I moved this bench out of my bedroom because I needed room in there and put it in here. So now she's got a place to put her luggage when she comes. But again, we have a Christmas tree in this room for her. And then even decorated the bathroom. It makes it fun. Turn the light on so you can see. But... Um, this is something I've had for years, and I ordered a little towel rack to put them on this year, and I love it. There's like nine towels, and each one is one of the reindeer, and I just think they're so cute. And so I hung them on this towel rack. I got that from Walmart today. So, and then I love my Santa picture back here. So, yeah, anyhow. This is just the beginning, and uh, but you know, one room at a time. That's all you can do. So I will. Um, my next room is that I'm going to do. Hopefully later tonight, I'll work on this, and maybe tomorrow too, because this is my horribly messy sewing room. I mean, I was on a sewing retreat two different times uh, during the month of October. And the last time I came in and I just dumped it all. So you can see it's just a wreck. So I will be organizing this and putting a tree. Um, I, have, I think the tree is gonna go over there between those two doors. I've got a pencil tree that'll go there and it has some sewing uh, type ornaments that go on it just because I'm in here a lot and I like to have a Christmas tree that I can see. So that's all I've gotten done so far. But uh, like I said, it is a total wreck that we're living over for the next little bit. I will show you my foyer. Hold on a second. I've got a ton of stuff in there too. Look at this. Yeah, boxes, 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 and more boxes. Crazy. but. Anyhow, I'll let you know as soon as that quiche comes out of the oven. Okay, I just took it out of the oven. I inserted a knife in the center of it before I took it out and it came out nice and clean. So let me show it to you. Here it is. Doesn't that look delicious? It's very, very hot right now. So we're gonna have to wait about 10 or 15 minutes to let it cool off and then we'll serve it. And I know it's gonna be delicious, but um, I, will, um, I will taste it and let you know um, in just a few minutes. So uh, in the meantime, while we're chit-chatting tonight, um, well, at least I'm chit-chatting, um, how about y'all go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, or at least follow me on Facebook. I'd like to get some more subscribers. I think I'm only 10 away from having 1,300 subscribers on YouTube. So uh, all you gotta do is just click subscribe down there and you'll be seeing me and you won't miss any of my videos. 
Um, I'm also going to get ask you to go ahead and send me your suggestions for R. P Q R. So, uh, so what would you like to be um, for me to feature as a R? And also, if you will go to um, to my website at homewithgg.com, there's a, a little sign up form in the top right hand corner and you can click there and fill out that form and you'll be getting one of um, my annual uh, recipe calendars for the one for 2025 and it's called sweet treats uh, and so it'll have lots of good recipes on there that you can make each month um, and also, while you're on my website, you can click and uh, download or pin any of the recipes that I've already put out there. They're not all of my recipes, but they're some of my favorite ones that are out there. I just put the chocolate pie this past week, so uh, be sure to check out that one. Uh, this is not quite ready yet, so let me get back with you in just a few minutes and let you uh, watch me taste it. <laughs> Sorry, you can't taste it yourself. Okay, it's cooled off enough that I think I can eat it now. I went ahead and cut a piece off. I want you to see how pretty this looks, though. It's really, you can see the cheese all in there. So, um, here's my bite. Mmm. Y'all, you know, that is good. If I do say so myself. Mmm. Y'all have a great day. I'll put this recipe out there on my website too. Love y'all. Bye-bye.